there are two main types of polymer. Now, a polymer is a long repeating unit. It's a very long molecule made up of lots of smaller molecules. Those smaller molecules that the polymer is made from are called monomers. There's two ways of making a polymer, joining those monomers together to make a polymer. They are addition and condensation. And we call the resulting polymers addition polymers and condensation polymers. Addition is possibly the simpler of the two uh, methods for making a polymer. Now, in order to do that, you need to have a monomer that contains a double bond, a carbon-carbon double bond. So you're looking at alkenes for this, or things that contain the alkene double bond. You can have side groups and other things as well. The simplest one to look at to understand how this works is the simplest alkene, ethene. So ethene has this double bond in the middle. Now, because polymers are huge, we genuinely, generally don't write down how many of each carbon, hydrogen, things like that are in there. Instead, we put this letter here, N. N means any unknown large number. So you take a huge number of monomers, ethene monomers, and using heat, pressure, catalysts, the method is slightly different for uh, different kinds of polymers, you break this double bond. So you'll break that double bond. Now, carbons like to form four bonds. They're in a tub, in a reaction vessel, with lots of other uh, ethenes which have broken their double bond. So they've got a bond with something. They bond with each other. This double bond breaks, you stick another monomer on the end. Break, stick another monomer on. Break, stick another monomer on. Eventually, you end up with a huge long chain of uh, monomers strung together, and that's called a polymer. This is called an addition polymerization reaction because you are adding things on. The way to spot an addition polymerization, two ways, double bond in the monomer, but also nothing is lost. There's no molecules coming out of this. How do we draw out an addition polymer? Well, in order to draw a polymer, you draw one subunit. A subunit is different to a monomer. Monomer is what you started with, subunit is what you finish with. And you draw these square brackets around it. Notice in this subunit, no double bond, that's been broken. So this looks like alkane, but it's not. It's still ethene, but it's broken the double bond. And now we have these square brackets, which tell us that it doesn't end here. These bonds keep going, keep going, keep going, both directions. Because we don't know exactly how many subunits it's made from, we put the number N. This is the polymer. How do we name these polymers? Well, very simply, you take the name of the subunit, which in this case is ethene, you put the word poly, put a bracket, and put ethene. So polyethene is made from ethene. The other type of polymer that you can make is slightly more complicated, and that's called a condensation polymer. Now we've looked previously at making esters, and esters form from a condensation reaction. It's exactly the same. The only difference is the monomer this time has a carboxylic acid on both ends and an alcohol on both ends. We call those dicarboxylic acids and dialcohols. Here's a difference between addition polymers and condensation polymers. Addition polymers, all the monomers are the same. Condensation polymers, you have different monomers. There are biological polymers, which are condensation polymers, such as proteins. So if you have a dialcohol, two alcohols, one either side, dicarboxylic acid, carboxylic acid both sides, or you can have one monomer which has an alcohol on one side and a carboxylic acid on the other. And then through a uh, condensation reaction, you lose a molecule of water and you have exactly the same uh, bond formed as you did in the ester video that we watched previously. This is called a polyester. Many esters, lots of ester bonds. And this is the ester bond with this characteristic O and double bonded O. There's another type of condensation polymer that we have, and that's called a polyamide. An amide is formed from a amine bond. And now what's an amine? An amine is NH3. Think about amino acids, or think about uh, the harbor process making ammonia. That tells us we've got an N and an H in there. The same idea happens though. We lose an H, we lose the O and the H from the carboxylic acid, which is this one here, and they form water. So in both of these, we form H2O. And you end up with a long chain of monomers all stuck together. Again, condensation polymers can have many monomers stuck together, many different monomers, different to a um, addition polymer. And you end up with many amides. It's called a polyamide. So you've got polyesters, many ester bonds, polyamides, 
many amide bonds. If you want to break the bonds between these uh, monomers, you have to do a reaction where you add water. It's a hydration reaction and it breaks those ester bonds and those amide bonds. I tried to say something there, but my mind went blank, so just cut me off. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Just, um, I guess you'll have to you'll have to edit me. And hold on, give me a second. Um, so that is the two main types of polymer. Okay, you're just going to have to edit that bit in at the end. <laughs> Yeah, what I said. Um, what was the last thing I'm saying? So polyesters are made of many ester bonds. Polyamides are made of many amide bonds. Condensation polymers can have more than one type of monomer. Addition polymers all made of the same polymer. Condensation reactions lose a molecule of water each time. Addition, do not, you just add more things on. So that is the two types of polymer.